Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I will be talking about how to create a mount point in Azure Databricks using Axis Key. Okay, so we have a different methods to create a mount point. We can connect our blob storage or ADLS Gen 2 or Gen 1 uh, using service principle, using SaaS token, using Axis Keys. And we can create a mount point on top of that. But in this video, I will be creating a mount point using access key and we will connect our blob storage, uh, one of the container in it and we'll try to, you know, load the data or, you know, do some operations over there. So before the video, I would, I would, uh, I would recommend to watch previous videos on this series. And uh, if you haven't watched any of it, just go back and uh, watch one by one so that you will get some knowledge on the Azure Databricks plus Pi's part. Okay, so if you can see my screen, I we have this channel and here we uploaded uh, videos on Azure Databricks, SQL, Python, and so on. So if you're a beginner, if you're thinking that you should know Azure Data Engineering, Databricks, and so on, so you can refer this channel. Okay, so now let me go back to my Databricks community edition. So this is the notebook, Databricks notebook. We have a dedicated, uh, dedicated, uh, uh, dedicated cluster. We have it, and this is the code. Okay, you don't need to mug up uh, the every each line. You just need to know what is happening inside this function. How do we connect it? You can you you can take this code from uh, from any website, any documentation. It is only is easily available over the Google. Okay, you can find out from there. Now the requirement is we have this source, we have this container blob key coders, and here we have a set some containers over here. You can see we have sync source, you can ignore these two. Now in this source container, we have a couple of files or we can say folder present over here. Now we need to now we need to uh, let's say I need to uh, I need to extract or I need to load this testing underscore one dot csv file. Okay, how would you do that? With the help of access token. Sorry, access uh, with the help of uh, access key. So uh, if I go back and here you can see there's an option of access key. If I click on it, then you can see we have this storage account name and then we have key one and key two. You can see we have this rotate key option so if you want to change your key you can click on it and then new new key will be assigned uh, will be generated here okay and yeah that's it so if i go back to my databricks community edition version you can see we have this dbutis.fs dbutis database utilities dot file system dot mount here i need to pass first source so our first parameter is source here and here I need to pass my container. So my container name would be source and the storage account name would be my uh, blog geek coders. So I can paste it over here. That's it. You have to choose your mount point. So let's say I'm choosing my point mount point. Uh, let's say blob, blob, okay. Blob. So sort. That's it. And in the third parameter, we have to pass the extra configuration. And see, like when whenever we are storing some password, access keys, and secrets, we have to pass those things into the key vault. Right? I have created a video how to create a scope and how to save the keys into the key vault and how to you know create a scope in Databricks. I have uh, I have created this video. I will give a link in the description. You can watch those things and before you know watching this, if you haven't watched or if you haven't know the concept. So right now, what they are using, what they are doing, they are using this dbutils.secrets.cat and they are passing their scope and then they are passing their key. Okay, to retrieve some of the access key. Since this is community addition, we cannot create our scope here. So I am removing this code. Okay. If you can see here in extra underscore config parameter, I have to pass config key. So config key is this. 
here you need to change your uh, change your storage account so i am passing here this copy this and just move everything and paste it this cool now if i go back here we have key so copy key how to copy copy and paste it over here i hope that's it now try to run this if you noticed here i have given here container name and then i have given here storage name i haven't given any folder name here so if you need to create a mount point mount point uh, till folder name so you can pass it over here okay but i am i am creating this mount point to the root folder oh wow that's created so now copy this and if i if i write here python utils.fs.ls you can see we have all all the files present over here okay we can do list if you want to load it you can load it okay so this is this is the way how we create a mount point if you want to see how many po mount point have been created in this uh, databricks environment or in this databricks uh, workspace how would you do that so we will write dbutils.fs.mounts just run it you can see we have one mount point that is iot data blah blah data breaks data set this is this deep and that and this is the one which we have created just now and you can see the source also okay that is the one way like this is the first first one method to create a mount point suppose you want to delete a mount point how would you do that it's simple just write db utils dot fs dot un unmount and pass the mount name let's say i am passing the mount name is this which i have created before okay now what will i do so like you know what does mount point means is that i forgotten to told you that you know like we have run this command one time like we created a connection between the uh, between the source for the permanent rule okay this is a mount point so suppose if i detach and attach this cluster okay detach and attach this cluster this mount point like we can access those files uh, after detaching after cluster restarting after you know after doing any activity like it is not a session based it is one time now what will i do uh now what will i do just do a undo here okay we have this right so now let me run this again and you can see we can do now what i will do i will just rotate this key and we'll see whether we can you know we can able to able to read this or list do a list of this mount point or not we can do that we can do that okay now what if if i you know if i do a unbound unmount of this uh, this mount point and try to do again i'm doing un un unmount again and i will you know i will run this command again and we'll see whether will it work or not definitely you know this thing will not work so what i need to do i need to i need to copy this thing this key and paste it over here okay so let it be like it is like it has been unmount so uh, let me copy this and paste it over here just run this 
now okay do a cancel if i go back to the container we have source and now we have this test folder so let me write here test folder. so we can write here test and if i run this and it will take some couple of minute next exception requirement directory already mounted okay change the name let's say one it is taking some more time and if i do this again with the new mount point you can see we can we can read or we can you know do a list for only these two files okay because these two files are present inside the test folder i cannot read i cannot read this testing underscore one and this course dot xls testing one these files i cannot read because i have created a mount point till that like i have given access you can say i have given access till that folder okay i have i haven't given access to the to the root folder root folder okay so this is the way how you can create a mount point how can you unmount unmount your mount point how can you create your mount point till the folder till the root folder and so on okay so that is the way to do and i hope you have understood this concept and like you know moving forward you can you can do many things so okay let me do quickly let me do one thing let me do one thing just go to this test and we have this right copy this and we'll try to load the data because i need to show you guys whether we can you know able to read the data or not arc.read.csv and just copy this path correct and do df dot show we can see right it is running i hope it will work fine now you can see we have like it it ran successfully and we have we got the output okay so this is the way to connect your the blob storage using, using access key and i hope this video you understood properly and if you do do subscribe to my channel and share with your friends Okay, bye-bye.